Hi guys. Um, so I want to. <laughs> this is too fake. Hey guys, I'm Kiana Funderburg and I'm known as the Art of Phenology on social media and I'm so glad you're uh, watching my video. Welcome to my channel. Be sure to like and subscribe. Um, if you're wondering why I'm looking off of the camera at times, it's because I have students in my classroom. I'm not teaching right now. Don't be, don't think I'm teaching. Um, some kids just wanted to hang out for indoor recess and so they're in here while I am recording this. Um, but this is our last week before Thanksgiving break. We get the whole week off for Thanksgiving break, which I am so excited about. And so this week I thought it would be cool not to vlog everything, but to talk about what we're doing for Thanksgiving. So I'm just what I want to share like a little snippet of Thanksgiving that we are doing each day this week. All right, guys. So if I randomly start breaking out in laughter, it is because it is recess time, so my students are not supposed to be in the classroom, but I have about five kids in here, and they're all staring at me at this moment, um, watching me talk to the camera, so that's a little bit awkward. But for each day of this week, I want to share one Thanksgiving activity that we are doing, or just share one Thanksgiving nugget that we're doing in the classroom. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be in the video, you guys just not laughing funny. at me. So today um, is Monday. It's the first day of the week, and I'm so glad that next week is Thanksgiving break. But today I'm going to share some read-alouds that I love for Thanksgiving. So I'm going to share five read-alouds. I don't want to talk too long about them um, because I don't want to take too much time. But I just want to give you a quick overview of what we will be reading in our classroom this week. All right, so the first... Guys, I'm so sorry for laughing. It's really the kids. It's not It's not me. I'm not crazy. It's the children. Um, but the first story I'm going to share with you is called If You Were a Kid at the First Thanksgiving. Um, this story, at first, I thought would be like one of those beginner stories for babies. But what's really cool about this story is that it takes kids into uh, like back in time as if they were a kid at the first Thanksgiving. So it's kind of nonfiction, kind of fiction. I guess that's... Um, historical fiction i'm not really sure but this is a good one and it's lots of information a really good non-fiction book um another one that i think is amazing is called no turkey for thanksgiving this one's really good because it talks about different cultures and how different people may celebrate thanksgiving differently depending on their culture so it's about this little girl and her family doesn't have turkey for thanksgiving they have duck and then the other students in the class start to talk about how they celebrate thanksgiving and it's just a great book for welcoming differences and the classroom. Um, this one's a classic. There was an old lady who swallowed a turkey. We know about this series. There was an old lady who swallowed all sorts of things. I'm not sure if you guys can hear the children in the background. They're having a lot of fun right now. Um, this one is also really fun. It's called How to Catch a Turkey. Um, they have like How to Catch a Leprechaun, How to Catch Santa Claus, How to Catch an Elf. So this is another one of those series just like um, There was an old lady who swallowed a turkey. And it's really fun for the students to go on the journey of trying to catch the turkey. Um, and this one's great for Thanksgiving. This one's a lot of fun. And this one is a classic. You've probably heard about it, but it's so great. I actually like to read this one the day after we get back from Thanksgiving break um, because this is about the Macy's Day Parade. Um, and a lot of my students don't get a chance to watch the Macy's Day Parade. Um, and so it's Balloons Over Broadway and how the Macy's Day Parade got its start. And it has a lot of cool artifacts inside. And it's just a great story as well with very beautiful illustrations. So that is our Thanksgiving tip for day one. Tomorrow I'm going to share some math Thanksgiving activities that we will be doing. Hi, we are students from Ms. Funderburg's fifth grade class, and we helped make this classroom door. Uh, so right here we have Tear the turkey! <laughs> and up there we have little things that our, our other classmates and us have written. Those are things that we are thankful for. Like, um, things that they will put. Yeah. Okay. There you go! Turn it. Go, go, go. Hi guys, so today is Tuesday of our week before Thanksgiving. I don't have too much to share with you for today. We didn't do anything too new, um, but I did have a one of those organic great teacher moments featuring one of my kids. <laughs> Um, but today I was reading um, one of our read alouds that I shared yesterday, which was there was an old lady who swallowed a turkey. And as I was reading, I started to realize that this, the book rhymed. So I was like, guys, I should wrap this. Um, and after a few trials and errors, I have a student, she's laughing. Um, I settled on the 
instrumental version of pop star by dj cal and drake and i literally rapped through this song and my kids told me it was fire and if you get that compliment from a fifth grader that means you're actually onto something because fifth graders don't like to give compliments so um i think it went really well and it was a fun moment what do you think was, was it fun yeah yeah it was really fun and it was one of those organic teaching moments like that was not planned um and then one of my students happened to record it on her ipad so now we have footage of it i didn't know that she was recording it um but yeah it was a lot of fun so that is my thanksgiving tip for today tomorrow i think i'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about what we're doing for thanksgiving math so I can't play the actual video because it's copyright music, but I'm going to show you guys just a snippet of what it looked like when um, my student recorded me rapping that song um, in the middle of class. Hey guys, today's Wednesday. I don't have any Thanksgiving things to share this today because today's my intern's last day. Yeah. So we're so sad. <laughs> but I will share the math things for tomorrow. <laughs> we'll miss you. So that's Wednesday. Bye. Hi guys, so today is Thursday. We only have one more day and then we have made it to Thanksgiving break. Um, one of my students, <laughs> Lily, she wants to be featured. She asked for special permission from her mom to be featured in the video, so that's Lily. <laughs> don't worry, I'm like behind a clear partition, so we're not super close and I don't have my mask on. Um, but today we are doing Thanksgiving feast task cards. So, um, or no, I said Thanksgiving feast, fraction feast task cards. So something that I love to do every Thanksgiving um, with my students is do fraction feast and <laughs> With the fraction feast, there's lots of things that we can do, and I'm going to share the big fraction feast tomorrow. I have students in my classroom. Not, I'm not teaching, but uh, just for fun. They want to hang out with their teacher in their free time. And um, the big fraction feast is tomorrow, so I don't want to spoil the surprise for them. But I will share with you what we did today, and we did fraction feast task cards about adding fractions. Subtracting fractions. There's a fly in my classroom. Um, and multiplying fractions. And they're different like Thanksgiving themed questions and their word problems and things like that. I made it digital and I have it in print. It's also available in my Teachers Pay Teacher store. So if you would like that for yourself, feel free to grab that. Um, but let me show you what they look like. All right, so around the classroom, there are different task cards. So some are word problems. You gotta be my model. Oh my God. Some are word problems and some are just what we call naked numbers, just the equation. Um, but there's 20 total, so the kids are all socially distanced, walking around solving these problems independently, um, and then I can collect a grade from them. And like I said, my digital students, they do the same thing on Google, so I'll show you what the Google one looks like in just a bit. Also, teacher life, hot mess express. So there's also a digital version of the same task cards that my students are doing around the room. I just put them on Google Classroom, and so this resource is also available, but I wanted to make sure that my hybrid students, or my digital students are doing fun. this thank you <laughs> are doing the same exact assignment as um my in-person kids just to make it more equitable for everyone involved so yesterday i told you that i didn't get to share um the thanksgiving activities that we did but i did want to share these morning slides that i've been using this week and last week these are from maddie fairchild um i got them from her instagram she is miss fairchild in fifth and she gave these out for free and I think they're so great. So I tweak mine a little bit. I just add like a little message to my students here and then I add a riddle, but the Thanksgiving GIFs um, she already put there and I just give what my students, you know, what I want them to do for the day. Uh, NTIs is the life of a teacher in 2020, unfortunately. And then I add a little bit emoji, um, but these are so cute. My students are loving the riddles every morning. And so you can see there's little Thanksgiving GIFs um, that we are enjoying. And just count down the days until finally tomorrow when we will be getting we ready for, th break. Yes, <laughs> hey, for hey, Thanksgiving hey. break. Um, so we're super excited about that. Hey guys, we finally made it to Friday. <laughs> <laughs> I got right what she was going to say. 
Yeah. One of my students predicted that I was going to say that to the camera, and that's exactly what I plan okay. to say because I'm so excited that it's Friday. We have so finally made it. Leave us? No, because I need some rest. Uh -uh. And I'm so excited because we are finally at, well, we finally made it to our fraction feast. Um, so I want to share what we're doing for our fraction feast. And then we're going to go ahead and close this out. really want me to show you guys my bitmoji so we have like the pumpkin pie and then me dabbing on the turkey but for fraction feast basically what the students do um is they have this recording sheet and this is all focused on multiplying fractions and then nf5 so they're going to take real recipes for thanksgiving so we have sweet potatoes mac and cheese mashed potatoes etc it goes on and on and they are going to choose two fractions from the recipe, one whole number and one mixed number, and then they're going to use that, those ingredients to help solve these problems, and then they're gonna double it, so they need to know what math is involved by to double it, and then they're going to half it, and then there's a challenge to prepare the meal for the whole class using the serving size from the beginning. Um, so I also made this whole thing digital for my students, so we have the paper version of the uh, recording sheet we have the paper version of the recipes but then also everything's on Google so the students that are zoomies are going to be able to type inside the boxes and fill this in as well so what my students did today was I put them in breakout rooms again like everything else this school year it was hybrid so I had students in person and digital all in different breakout rooms they chose their own recipes and then um, they completed this assignment together and uh, let me show you how I did my classroom so I turned the classroom into a big uh, dinner table, I guess, like multiple dinner tables. And you can see um, it looks like students are sitting side by side, but the way my classes are set up, uh, every other seat is filled. So we have two different blocks. So not every kid is at no time are students sitting next to each other and no one is sitting across from each other either. So they're not working side by side. We're still social distance in that way. Um, but this was just to set the theme so that the students would be able to, you're not in it, <laughs> so that the students would be able to feel the Thanksgiving vibes. So that is how Thanksgiving went this week in my classroom. If you would like any of these resources, they are available in my Teachers Pay Teachers store. Currently, they're in the featured product section but if you're watching this months from now um just check out the holiday section of my tpt store you'll be able to grab these for yourself and um i hope you guys like and subscribe Bye. the video this is my correspondent lily Bye. um and be sure to hit that notification button to see whenever i post a new video and i'll see you guys next time Bye. Bye.